My name is Chris Shera. I'm the State Opioid Coordinator for the Washington State Healthcare Authority, and I work to uh, coordinate the various funding streams that we have that we're using to address the opioid crisis. Those can be local, state, or federal, philanthropic, things of that nature. And I also make sure that those activities are in line with the goals and metrics outlined in our State Opioid Response Plan. The State Opioid Response Plan in Washington is a cross-systems collaboration among a variety of government organizations, healthcare organizations, and academic organizations. We have four primary goals, that is prevent opioid abuse, uh, to treat opioid abuse, to reduce morbidity and mortality related to opioid abuse, and to collect data in a meaningful way so that we can inform our plan uh, and determine whether or not we're being successful. We needed more flexibility with the collection and use of our data. Collecting data is good, but doing something with the data is even better, and you can't make decisions on data if you can't analyze it. And when data is siloed uh, in various organizations, it makes it much more difficult to analyze it. The migration to the AWS cloud platform has increased our analytical capacity, our flexibility, and it gives us more opportunities to be innovative. For instance, right now, our prescription drug monitoring program is not being ingested into the cloud yet, but when it does, uh, the functionality that comes with AWS platform will allow us to uh, interact with that data in a meaningful way. I think in order to save lives and to mitigate the problems caused by the opioid crisis, I see a future where all of the opioid-related data that we're collecting is in the cloud, uh, and I see a future where that data can be verified quickly and analyzed quickly so that it can better inform our interventions more quickly and enable us to save more lives.